take that jump and don't fear the fall. Hope when the water rises, you built a wall. Kelly's stunning success as the architect of the Northwestern Lacrosse Program comes on the heels of one of the most outstanding playing careers the sport has ever seen. The Massachusetts native won back-to-back -back National Player of the Year awards while starring for the University of Maryland, was a four-time All-American and two-time NCAA champion in lacrosse, and was also an All-American in soccer. Her playing career continued as a standout for the U.S. national team for nearly a decade. In 2012, Kelly reached the pinnacle of her sport when she was inducted into the U.S. Lacrosse Hall of Fame in recognition of her achievements as a player. After some assistant coaching jobs in 2002, the Boston native surprisingly accepted the Northwestern head coaching position to reinstate what was a club lacrosse program to NCAA competition. She very quickly built her program into an improbable dynasty. One of the most amazing stories in women's lacrosse history, the Northwestern Wildcats became the first team outside the Eastern time zone to earn a number one ranking in NCAA lacrosse and to win the national title at any level, male or female. In 2005, Northwestern finished 21-0, won the national championship, and was the only undefeated team in NCAA Division I that year. One of the iconic college coaches of her era, Kelly, just completed her 13th season as head women's lacrosse coach at Northwestern, where she has guided the Wildcats to an incredible seven NCAA championships in the last 10 seasons. Let's go back to that magical 2005 season, which sent her original recruits out as seniors exactly the way they wanted to as national champions. At the start of the 2005 Northwestern season, back in the Eastern time zone, another story was unfolding. Jacqueline Murphy of Hopewell Junction, New York, like many nine-year-olds, loved sports. Her latest passion was lacrosse. One ordinary day, she felt sick and kept feeling worse until the doctors discovered that Jacqueline had a malignant brain tumor. After surgery to remove the cancerous tumor, extensive chemo and radiation followed. Every time her dad wheeled her down the hospital hall en route to treatments, they passed by a photo of exuberant women lacrosse players, and he always commented that Jacqueline would be like that one day. She would feel well enough to again play the game she loved. It seemed like a far-off dream to a very sick young girl. Meanwhile, Jacqueline's coach told a friend about her little lacrosse player with a cancerous brain tumor. That friend was Coach Kelly. The Northwestern team sent Jacqueline a care package of lacrosse gear and notes of support. It meant the world to Jacqueline and gave her a goal. The next time Northwestern played in the East, she wanted to go to their game and personally thank them. And she did. Jacqueline met the team before the game, and they were in awe struck by her bravery, maturity, and strength. The Northwestern team and Jacqueline formed a bond that inspired them and made them both better. The team began to play for Jacqueline and had a perfect season, winning Northwestern's first NCAA National Lacrosse Championship. Jacqueline even predicted the final score in the championship, 13-10. That's an amazing chapter, and there's more to the story. Northwestern kept winning, and Jacqueline kept cheering for Coach Kelly and the team, her big sisters. Sometimes it's hard for sick children to be or have friends. Between treatments and feeling poorly, they are often low energy and spend a lot of time alone. During a hospital stay, Jacqueline's roommate commented that Jacqueline sure got a lot of text messages and asked her who they were from. Jacqueline proudly told her roommate about her big sisters at Northwestern. A few minutes later, Jacqueline's sick and lonely roommate left to go for some testing, and Jacqueline turned to her father and said, Dad, you've got to get her a team. And he did. In 2005, the Murphy family started the Friends of Jacqueline Foundation to improve the quality of life for children with pediatric brain tumors and their families by pairing them with college and high school athletic teams. The teams give these children love support, and friendship as they fight this devastating disease. So far, over 500 children with brain tumors in the U.S. and Canada have been matched with a sports team through the Friends of Jacqueline Foundation. And the picture that started it all on the wall of the hospital of the jubilant lacrosse player that brought hope to a sick child, that united a lacrosse team with Jacqueline, that started a foundation to help many others through the years. What about that picture? One day, on her way to treatment, Jacqueline stopped and for the first time really looked closely at the photo. 
neither she nor her dad could believe their eyes. The lacrosse player in the picture was Coach Kelly when she was an All-American at Maryland. Much good has come from that photo. Jacqueline is doing well and is a sophomore at Marist College and is the women's lacrosse team manager. Hundreds of teams and student athletes are being strong for kids and families in need through the Friends of Jacqueline Foundation. And Coach Kelly's legacy will include that she has taught her student athletes that inspiration is a gift that you give and receive. Bigger picture of being a champion award winner, Kelly Amante Hiller.